everybody, and welcome to another show of Cooking with the Canadian. That is my new YouTube channel, so I'll be posting the link below on where you can subscribe and you can see all my videos that I'll be cooking. So today, I'm going to be doing tortillas. And you probably wonder, where am I? Well, I have two beautiful friends who are letting me borrow their kitchen. Uh, the wife is actually on keto, so I'm helping her out with the keto. He sure is. So, so today we're going to do tortillas. So, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'm going to go through the process. I'm going to show you everything, how everything is done. So, in here, I'm just going to get my recipe so it's all ready to go. So, in here we have one cup of almond flour. We have three tablespoons of coconut, one teaspoon of xanthan gum, we have one teaspoon of baking powder, and salt. So we put it in a fruit processor, and we pulse it until just combined. Once it's combined, we're gonna take apple cider vinegar, one egg, and three teaspoons of water. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the apple cider vinegar. Then once that, we put in the egg. And that's combined a little bit, we're gonna add the three teaspoons of water. Now, as you can see, it's getting well incorporated. Once it's incorporated, we're going to take it out. So you're going to get into a little bit of a mush, almost, which is perfect. Okay? As you can see, you're going to get something like this. It's perfect. It's finely. So you're going to take it, and you're going to grab it. And you're going to put it on a plastic saran wrap, okay? And what I do is I just knead it for a little bit, okay? And you get this kind of a consistency, okay? Then I put it back in the wrap, and then what you do is you wrap it, and you play with it like a stress ball, okay? So you take out all your frustration. So if your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend pisses you off, you use this as a stress relief. After you mold it in your hand for a couple of minutes, you're gonna, this needs to rest for a half an hour. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. And we already had one done run before, so it's all ready to go. So you're gonna take it out. And as you can see, it's perfect, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to basically cut it into fours, okay? So, half and half. So, from this, you get four tortillas from this batch, okay? So, I have my tortilla press right here, and I have parchment paper. What I did with the parchment paper is I just lightly oiled it, so this won't stick to the parchment paper when I press it. So I put the ball in the middle, parchment paper on top, put my tortilla press down, and it's a light, light press. You don't want to press it too much so it comes up the side, you just want enough that it's done. And then when you lift it up, oh, just a little more. And now, there we have our tortilla. So that's how it is. So I already have the stove on. This has to be hot. No oil, nothing in the pan. It has to be dry and it has to be hot. Once it's dry, you put it in the pan and you cook it. I say about 30 to 45 seconds you cook it. It'll tell you because it'll start to bubble up a little bit. And then once it bubbles up, you just take it out and flip it on the other side. Then what I would do is I would get a cloth 
little damp cloth, put it in there and keep it nice and moist, and that's all you need. So as you can see, I can move it, I can pick it up, it doesn't stick, okay? So as you can see, it starts to brown up and it gives it that tortilla color. That's all it is. You don't want anything too overly burnt or anything. Now the reason why it browns, it's the coconut flour that's in there that makes it that brown color, okay? That's awesome. And with this, you could do you could do anything. You can make tortillas, you can make a wrap, okay? And that's it, your tortilla is done. That's it. It's done, it's perfect, and you're good to go. Again, it's, it's pliable that you can bend it any way you want, okay? So, if you like my video, subscribe. I'll have a link down at the bottom. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be uploading this video and future videos of anything that I'm going to be making. Again, I'm going to be doing keto mostly, but if you have any type of dish that you want me to make, send me a message and I'll make anything for you. So again, that's Cooking with the Canadian. That's my YouTube channel. The link will be at the bottom. Thank you for seeing this video and have a great day, everybody. Thanks. Bye.